Jeff and Wilmer at Budrum, and it's, this morning I want to talk about my latest horse and cow manure strategy. So where my bees are, it's almost a one-stop shop for me down there. I get my firewood down there, I keep my bees there, and I'm also, I've got an unlimited amount of cow manure and horse manure down there I can gather any time I like. So the only time I've been really gathering it is when I invite people, I tell some of my honey customers, if they want to get some cow manure, they can uh, ring me up and I'll meet them outside and I can take them in and they can get some for themselves and I can get some for myself and then uh, we go from there. So what I've been doing is bring it home in uh, bags and uh, fish bins, which is not all that ideal. So my latest strategy is to have a spade in my, in my ute and a couple of buckets and I find if I bring it home in the buckets and I don't use it straight away, I can just put a lid on and it's there and I don't have to worry about it. And you don't use it, you don't grow your veggies straight on the cow, cow and horse manure. But what I do is, um, it's just, now that I've filled up these spuds, you can see there's a bit of a valley there. So what I'm going to do is just lay the cow manure along there. Now that, the cow manure today, won't feed these spuds but it'll but in the process it'll break down and the earthworms will work it through the soil and then after i harvest these spuds and dig the soil over um, it'll be in the soil so if you've got a couple of crops that might be in there for three months or six months well then you can put your cow manure between them and let it rot down Yeah. Now, um, what do you reckon? Would you agree that this got a bit of an odour? A bit of a fresh yeah. you have a smell? A bit of an odour, yeah. A bit of an odour, right, eh? So, yeah. so all you do is grab some of this uh, sugar cane mulch and put over it. And that'll sort of keep the smell down. Now, that just gives you a bit of an example of what you can do. While I'm saying this, woman, you can just wave the camera over this lush potatoes and that you know. So I've been growing veggies here for 25 years and I've never had a, a worm farm and I've never made my own compost. So my worm farm and my compost is in the in the garden and and the lush colour of the veggies uh, speaks for itself. So what I do is just every time if I just have a spade in the back of my ute and a couple of buckets Every time I go down to the bees, I can just fill a couple of buckets up and bring them home and just let them out. You can't have too much of it, really. And the other thing I have gotten down is in between the veggies are the banana stalks. So uh, if I was to pull one of the banana stalks apart, you'll find a big heap of earthworms uh, working amongst them and, and under them. Oh, See that one there? There's another one there. See there's composting worms here. All through it. Yeah. Well, you can see this banana stalk I've got rotting down here. Yes. Um, you can see the compost worms there. If you can zoom right in on that, where my fingers are. Yeah. Oh, there's about four of them there. Oh, yeah. the Five, stalk six. is filled every, that's just in one small section. One little section. small bit. It's, so there's compost worms all through this banana stalk. They about. seem to love those banana stalks. Yeah. I found anywhere where I've had the banana stalks rotting down, you know, a few months later, things really do well in that soil. In fact, where that pile of banana stalks is there, I had a, a heap, a big heap of banana trash rotting down and 
I moved it across, I moved the rich soil from it across to this where I planted these spuds. Now, those two rows of spuds there were planted at the same time as this row of spuds. When I saw it, I couldn't believe the difference in the uh, growth. And I wondered if it was because of all the uh, rotting down banana trash. Now I've got a heap more banana trash there to rot down, so that'll be really rich. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll catch you later. Bye.